God cross to take my mans out, just kill yourself in the trenches. 40 on my help, I had to fix my. Go shop EmpressTwins.com, bro. Yeah, I want to know this. Raymond. Was in a single calendar year, something so crazy. Hold on, why the camera like that? Wait. Hold on. I'm tripping her. Impossible, but for one man, it was just another remarkable chapter. But he did this after he did this like before I scored my hundred something, so they didn't make a video on me yet. Dorn, Lionel Messi, and what was never seen before. This is 10 months ago. No matter. Shattered records and left the world in awe with his otherworldly uh, goal scoring form. I know many of you are aware of this legendary year in his career, and I'm sure many of you remember some of the iconic goals he scored that year. But do you really understand just how insane that is? Well, today we're gonna look back at the story of Lionel Messi's 91 goal year and see just how it might be impossible to break it. Not me. I mean. I made 20 goals in two games, no FC. Not be aware, in the year 2012, Messi accomplished a seemingly impossible feat, scoring 91 goals in a single calendar not year. FC. First, let's look at a breakdown of the goals he scored that year. The majority of his goals would, of course, come from La Liga. Messi scored 59 goals in 38 La Liga oh. matches, followed by 13 goals in 12 Champions League matches. Wait, 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 that's FC24 FIFA. Liga matches, followed by but I did it goals without it. 12 Champions League matches, 5 goals no in controller, no game matches, system. 2 goals in 2 Super Real League legs. matches, 5 goals in World Cup qualifiers, and finally 7 goals in international oh, friendlies. Shit. Add it all up and you'll get a total of 91 goals in 69 that's matches. Crazy. And this is an Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. The, the, gap, the gap, though, like, that's 30 more goals than matches. Bro, that's shit. So it's like he had extra time or some shit. What happened? No idea. This was truly Messi's greatest form when it came to true goal scoring abilities. Because when you add in his 22 assists over the year as well, oh, Messi would average an insane goal or assist every 52.8 minutes on the pitch. Heck, even if you do it by goals alone, Messi was scoring roughly every 66 minutes. Like, that's pretty damn unbelievable if you ask me. And to go along with his 91 goals were a total of 9 hat tricks and 7 free kick goals throughout the year. The genius level of display here is truly mind-blowing. Messi really is, for today's sponsor, brilliant. That's super wild. Oh, Raymar, I don't know why you're just skipping. Why'd you ask to play him, players, bro? Thanks to shit. Instead of a single season. And a great question. Because basically, the title for the most goals scored in a single year uh -huh. was held by the legendary Derek Muller. Uh -huh. And it was so impressive that the entire category of logging goals throughout the year was made just because of him. Muller's 85 goals in 60 matches stood as the record for 40 years before Messi would break it in 2012. But while Muller did score less total goals, his goal scoring ratio was an insane 1.42 goals per game. And it's still the highest and most insane ratio we've seen throughout any footballer in a given calendar year. But just for a single season by itself, well, the numbers kind of go around a bit. But if you really want to break it down by season, in the 1972-73 Bundesliga season, Jared Muller scored 66 goals and had 9 assists in 49 appearances. That gives him an absolutely ridiculous 1.53 goal contributions per game for the season. But just slightly better than Muller was Cristiano Ronaldo's 61 goals and 23 assists in 54 matches, which was an insane 1.55 goal contributions per game in the 2014-15 season. But for Lionel Messi, it was the 2011-12 season that a majority of his goals from that year came from. Because Messi would score 73 goals and have 30. That is a mind-blowing one point. Even if you just look at a single season instead of a full calendar year, Messi still went absolutely insane. These numbers are just ridiculous. Like, even averaging 1.5 goals a game for the whole season is incredibly difficult. These are truly some my people player numbers in real life. And in the beginning of 
the 2022-23 season, at one point, Erling Holland was even averaging two goals per game. We'll fast forward to this Hell. last half of the season, and Holland has 32 goals and four assists in 32 matches. Indeed, amazing at 1.12 goals per game. But it just goes to show you how difficult it can be to maintain such ridiculous numbers throughout the entire season. But now comes the fun part. Let's take a look at the biggest highlights of Messi's goals Wait, in 2012. So that means he didn't. Does that mean he didn't mess up at all, really? Through the whole year, he had damn near two, two goals That's, a game. Bro, niggas be getting injured, niggas be getting tired. Like, bro, that, you, you kid, bro, that doesn't gotta be a robot. What's Months of the year, Messi was already in insane form. He was scoring goals for fun and leaving defenders in his wake, making the impossible look easy. In January 8th, Messi would score two goals in Barcelona's 4-1 win over Espanyol. Then just a day later, he would receive his third consecutive Ballon d'Or for his amazing year in 2011. And towards the end of January, he scored four goals in Barca's 5-1 oh. win over Valencia in the Copa del Rey semifinal. Then in February, Messi scored his 200th goal for Barcelona in just his 235th hey, appearance, man. breaking the previous record held by legendary striker wait, wait, Messi's well, right? 35th. Hold on. February, Messi scored his 200th goal for Barcelona in just his 235th appearance, breaking the previous record no, held by wait, legendary striker. That's every Levin. match since he was playing. Every match he scored a goal or two. Bro, 200. Or that's more than one year. 200 and. 200 goals in 230 games. Jordan, that, 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 and those probably the games he was injured. That's no. probably the, he, he was probably the games he was injured, dog. Or just sub right. or something. He never, when, did, when did he get off the field? When it was halftime, he probably did get off the field when it was halftime still. Still shooting goals in the, when it's halftime. What the heck is this? No. What? Freak no. Freak no. This loud Kubala. March was when things really what? got crazy. Messi produced a moment of absolute magic in the Champions League round of 16 against Bayern Leverkusen. He would score from an impossible angle and left the stadium speechless. And as the season continued in April, Messi scored another hat-trick against Malaga in La Liga, including a goal that left fans and pundits in complete awe, dribbling past multiple defenders and weaving in and out of their tackles before calmly slotting the ball to the back of the net. It was a beauty and proved once again why Messi was the best player in the world. And at the end of the month, Messi would be named the UEFA best player in Europe. Wait, what is he Rizzo doing? What is, that's not going in. That's not going in. For the award. I swear I thought he was crossing a lead pass or something. I thought so too. That angle was insane. He was from the camera and cameraman angle. Someone said he was injured for two months. That's that year. The year y'all reacting to. Like what? What? Boy, boy, boy. But May was where Messi really made history. On May 5, he broke the record for the most goals in a single European season. Wait, if he was injured this year, still got 91 goals. If he was injured for two months, still got 91 goals. Had to be. 68th and 69th okay. goal for the campaign during Barcelona's 4-1 victory over Espanyol. As the first half of 2012 and the 2011-2012 season coming to a close, Messi had firmly established himself with his form as the best player in the world. And he was nothing short of sensational. In June, Messi scored the only goal of the game in Argentina's World Cup qualifiers against Ecuador. It was a reminder to everyone in the summer that Messi what? was still in form and that he was ready for the second half of 2012. And the beginning of the 2012-2013 season kicked off, Messi did not disappoint. Because in August, for the start of the 2012-13 season, Messi really hit the ground running. Messi would open up the scoring for Barcelona in the Spanish Super Cup against right. arch rivals Real Madrid. Then he would set up Andres Iniesta for a goal that would secure the win. And that was just the beginning. Because just a few Boy. days later, Messi would score his first hat trick of the season against Real Sociedad. Over the next few months, Messi continued to light up the pitch with his incredible skills and goal scoring ability. And September was no different, as Messi continued to light up the league with a stunning performance against Getafe. He would iconically score this goal and saw him dribbling past almost the entire opposition what? team before Kula winning the ball. This goal, it saw him dribbling past it's almost. He never made them. Oh my god. What is the world? And did he go and freaking sit down? It looked like he did he been doing a break dance. Bro. Bro, it looked like he literally trying to stretch, dog. He literally trying to touch his toes and stretch, dog. Get a back stretch. Before Cooley putting the ball in the back of the net. And October was when Messi would really start to make history. He would score a brace in the Champions League group stage against Celtic. And then a few days later, scored yet another hat trick in a victory over Deportivo La Coruña in the 
Liga. It was like Messi was on a mission to break the record that year, and many were keeping an eye as he got closer and closer to Jared Miller's record. And in November, Messi was breaking records left and right. He would score two goals in Mallorca, taking his goal scoring tally for the year all the way to 85 goals, matching the previous record set by Jared Miller in 1972. He scored another brace against Spartak Moscow in the Champions League. And at the end of the month, Messi would iconically receive the Golden Foot Award. Then, on December, he scored a hat-trick in Barcelona's 5-4 win over Deportivo La Coruña, of course finishing it off with a stunning free kick to the top corner. Messi's incredible performances and record-breaking achievements earned him a place in the UEFA Team of the Year and the FIFA Pro World Eleven. while also... Jordan, I'm, 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 I quit. I fucking quit. I'm tired of watching this dude. I'm trying to hear Nate. I'm trying to hear Ray Moore. This dude was really nutmeg and people left him back. He got left up. Right. He got off the ground to nutmeg him. He got Yo. up from laying down to nutmeg him, dog. Making achievements, earned him a place in the UEFA. Why would you just stay down on the ground and just register? You failed. FIFA Pro World. He's saying he on his legs. Saying he open. Bro, he's stingy with the house. Bro, you got a wife While already, dog. Also being the La Liga Player of the Year, the Champions League Four oh. of the Season, and the World Soccer Player. He was going of the, the wrong year. way. <laughs> he was going the, the wrong way. The he still with the nutmeg, him, dog. Eleven. While also being named, he wasn't supposed to go that way. Year, the Champions League Four <laughs> of the Season, bro, that dude and right the World there. Soccer Player of the Year, and to top it all off, was awarded to the 2012 Ballon d'Or. Bro, Making he's going the wrong way. Time the award just, just the absolute door. peak of Messi's pure goal scoring and dribbling if not for Barcelona losing the edge on the La Liga title race with Real Madrid decided Dova, to Dova. go insane and getting knocked out of the Champions League with Chelsea's iconic win the 2011-2012 season for Messi would in my opinion be the undisputed greatest season of all time because you have to remember those Barcelona guys for back-to-back -back years won it all a treble hey. and a minor treble back-to-back -back hey. with their insane squad of Iniesta, Xavi, David hey. Villa, Pedro okay. and many more but just imagine if Messi scored this many goals in their treble winning year that would just be more ridiculous than it already is and of course Messi's team Teammates played an invaluable role. An interesting thing that I found was that the player Messi connected with the most was not Xavi or Iniesta, but instead with Pedro and David Villa. These three on the attack were an absolute nightmare because of their skill, composure, oh, touch, them. and shooting ability. The two combined had the most assists with Messi, with over a third of all Messi's goals, a total of 32 assists coming from them. I just thought that was pretty interesting. But what do you guys think? Is it the greatest season or year of all time, or have there been better ones? And let me know what you think Bro. in the comments if Messi's goal will ever be broken. Bro, he's putting the ball where nobody can get it. Like, it literally hit the top, top of the net, like, like, you and no, me, what the fuck? What in the world? What did you get here? What? Uh, <laughs> but you gonna need Victor Webber Nana to, to, to guard that, dog. Uh, like, I, I, if you can. Can't, bro. <laughs> she come from? Oh, for real? Them kind of scared me, though. I don't know where the thing came from. <laughs> what you doing? Don't laugh. Okay. Don't wait, sir. You playing Candy Crush, I know. Oh, no, no! Jordan, I'm not getting it. You might have to play. But actually, it occurred oh, at yeah. the beginning <laughs> of the December. <laughs> Heard you want to talk to them about Heard that you trying to get involved with Heard that you trying to come by